Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR. This is a 3D sculpting program, and this time we're gonna look at the color palette, how to actually choose which color you're working with and which materials you're gonna be painting with. So I'm gonna see if I can hold this in a way where my hand isn't covering it up, but this is the first button on the top, this color wheel, and it makes your controller show the color palette. Now, this color palette is actually broken into three pieces. The top up here, these two icons, that's the color editor or color picker. Then we have these uh, 16 four by four panel of different colors. That's your main color palette. At the bottom, this white bar, these are your materials, the actual substance which you're making your, your sculptures out of. So the main part, these 16 palette pockets, are the colors you're working with. You can just point at and pull the trigger, and now you're working with that particular color. If your painting overlaps something that was already there, you are actually changing the color all the way through, all the way inside. So if I switch to my carving mode and start carving away at this, you can see how the blue and the green are actually blended together. And when you paint a stroke through something, you are actually changing the color all the way through the stroke even where it intersects inside other pieces. So as you choose more colors, we might as well get rid of all these things. Okay. So as you're choosing different colors to paint with, that's going to be whatever shape you're painting with, that's the color you're going to work with. Now to change the colors themselves, all 16 colors are customizable. It's a matter of selecting which pocket you want to work with, and then you'll notice if you click it again, it'll bring up the color picker. Or if you click up here on this rainbow, that brings up the color picker. This square is the color picker, or the color editor. We do have this other option here called the eyedropper. It's supposed to look like an eyedropper. What the eyedropper does is if I want to regain a color I've used before, what a lovely shade of black, but I don't remember which color it is, or maybe I've lost that color. The eyedropper turns your controller into a little spring. Now whatever color you point at and pull the trigger, it picks up that color. So the eyedropper is to reuse existing colors and the rainbow is to blend a whole new color of your own. You can see since I started with black, my color editor starts fairly black as well. Now to change the darkness and lightness, I need to point anywhere at the color, hold the trigger down and pull it up or down away from or towards your other controller. So I'm gonna choose the rainbow, grab that color and drag it up so I can see the colors better. So you can actually see how it makes the colors darker and brighter, darker and brighter. When it's brighter, I'm still holding the trigger down. As I move it around, that cone, wherever the point touches the palette, that's the color you're picking now. So if I want a bright yellow, I'm going to pull the shades to bright, slide the pointer into yellow. Now I'm working with a pale yellow, a bright yellow. If I want a pale yellow, I'm going to choose a different color, change it to a pale, but now I'm going to go up here where it's a very pale pastel, almost a white yellow. Or maybe I'm going to choose the same color and go for a dark blue. And now I'm painting a dark blue. And if I erase, carve, 
you can see how the colors go through the sculpture. Carved away a little too much there, but you see what I'm talking about, how the colors blend through each other here. So the color picker, choose any pocket, and then use the, either the eyedropper to pick up an existing color, blue, or the palette, the rainbow, to choose any shade of any color, magenta. So that's the color picker and the color palette. So at the bottom here, let's get these out of the way. So the bottom of the color palette, these are the materials. Most of the time when you're creating new sculpture, this material is referred to as the base clay, the very first section here. So I could choose a dark blue clay and you can see it's a fairly solid slightly glossy shape the middle one this is a glossy metal you can see it's much shinier much glossier than the clay is i'll go for a brighter color we have the brighter color clay and then the brighter color glossy metal makes a noticeable difference when you're painting. The third option is a glow, sort of like a glow-in-the-dark silly putty. So if we turn the lights down, you can see how there's a slight pulse to it. It would have a slight glowing color, even if we're not having much in the way of light source. Right now I've got a bright lit studio and sculpture. So the glow just looks like a pale pink with a pulse. But if we were to turn down the lighting, do more focused lighting, the third option maintains a glow, glowing pale blue, or even a glowing dark blue. You can see it's got that slight pulse to it, as opposed to a blue clay, much more dull. The glow, there's our glow as opposed to the clay, as opposed to glossy metal. So the color picture in Sculptor, it's all about the shades of color you're building up your sculpture with. Get out of my face. So the color picker lets you choose any shade of any color, plus any material for any of that color, and reuse colors that you've been going before. Any of your shape construction tools will use these base colors to work with. And these colors are three-dimensional, so if you pass through yourself, you will be painting that color all the way through the object. I hope this inspires you to try different things, get real creative. This color picker lets you get very subtle differences between colors. Oops, let's go to clay here. So you can do some very gentle subtle differences by some very slight movements of your color. So you can get some real nice color changes as you get practice using that thing. Let us know if there are questions you got in the comments, both here live on Twitch TV slash Shameless Mayhem, but also YouTube.com slash Shameless Mayhem as well. We're just getting going with this series. We're planning on doing a lot with Sculpture VR. So let us know about the types of things you'd like to learn. Tune in every week and we'll see you in Sculpture VR. Have fun, everybody.